Hello, this is Shay Duffy with Worley & Associates. I'm standing outside of 1429 uh, Black Oak Road. So you can get the lay of the land. Here's the road I came in on. And I think this will be the biggest deterrent for this property. I've listed a house down this road before and that was the case. Um, it, it is a narrow gravel road for about a quarter of a mile um, which is down that way. So here's across the street. Okay, and there's another house down here. There's a grouping of maybe five houses down here. Now to pull into the drive, you can see there is some water running down it um, just because it runs off this road. Um, appears to just be running across the driveway. Um, but I ended up, instead of trying to make this sharp turn into the garage, I ended up just backing in. I mean, it was pretty easy to just back in. Um, I do drive practically a bus, which I'll need to now walk around. Two-car garage, I'll kind of just walk out here real quick. There's some rock steps down here and that's the lake right there and in between those trees you can see we'll go down there but that is that's the uh, boat dock with slips okay so we've got some rock up here separating it from the road. Looks like there's the wellhead. And... Okay, so even though there was water running across the driveway there at the end, and we've had a tremendous amount of rain. Um, there, I don't see anything flowing across here. Except for maybe that line. Okay. Got a little retaining wall here. It looks like the water that comes down from this hill, this little hose right there, it looks like it flows right into this and it's rounded around the house. So looks like we've got some thoughtful landscaping. So there's another entrance over there door into the garage and we'll go in the front door Oop, if I don't uh, trip over my own feet okay I do have all the lights on we've got the kitchen right when you walk in we have oak cabinets with crown molding look to be in good shape tile countertop So there's the front door. To the right is this dining area. It is open. These beams have been painted kind of an antique gray. Okay, so then to the right is this really cool sunroom, which will go in there. The burning. Fire. They've got a good size sofa in here. Great big windows. Here's the backyard.
Definitely park-like. And down below is more deck with benches, which looks like this deck has been pretty well maintained. Kept maintained. And there's like maybe a little spot by the gate, but same for the exterior of the foam of the home. I don't see any rotting wood on the soffit or fascia. And these floors, honestly, I can't tell, and I normally can. I think they're real wood. Okay, so now this, there are two bedrooms up here. I mean, I guess this would kind of be, if you wanted, uh, I guess this would kind of be the master because it does have a, a lake view, which I don't think my phone does the view justice. And even though it's a master, um, and it's just a small closet which opens kind of weird there's no track but oh, it works okay um and then there's another bedroom so there's not a master bathroom per se this would be the bathroom this is painted beadboard and then they've got a textured wall with paint and then a little bit of a glaze on it. The shower's just just an insert. And they've got one of these track lights for the lighting. We've got vinyl flooring this would be good for the grandkids closet okay and then the other part so right out of that room is stairs to the basement okay we've got the walk out onto the deck okay we've got the kitchen You love the vaulted ceiling. Okay. And this is probably my favorite part of the house, personally. I could definitely see evening card games being played out here. This deck material looks to be in really good shape. It looks dry in here, despite the crazy amount of rain we've had. Okay, so there's that other entrance I pointed out as I was walking into the front door. This was probably the original color of the house. Okay, we do have an entrance. deck from here. What is this? I didn't even... Okay, this is some sort of a picnic table. Or no, this is a fire pit. I don't know what that is. I'll open it up later. So I'm going to go back in. go downstairs. They have these 3D things on the wall which I really like as a designer. I specified something similar for a hotel.
hotel, not a hotel, condominium lobby back in my designer days in Chicago. Okay, here's the basement. We do have tile flooring. And they said the pool table does not convey, but most things are negotiable in real estate. This just looks like a good time down here. It does feel dry in here. They do have a dehumidifier, which is pretty common in our Ozark basements. Um, there's a cord running. I'll follow where that goes, but here's the back part of this bar. The surface on it is something with an epoxy over it. Kind of cool. Let me just show. I don't know what the hell that thing is. Anyway, um, here's the view from in here. There's the boat docks. Um, let's see. Ah, okay. So the dehumidifier. Here's the utility room and the laundry room. And that dehumidifier that had the hose running off of it would be a drain hose and I saw it going through this wall here it is okay it drains into there so that clear little tube is from the dehumidifier that was tied to that drain A little bit of storage. And that's okay. I think they said this light does not convey either, but again, things tend to be negotiable. Under the stair storage. Okay, a little office area or a third bedroom and it is a third bedroom because it has a window and a closet it is carpeted but it's in it's newer carpet i can actually still smell it um it's in good shape it's pretty okay here's the second bathroom Steel countertop. Don't see too many contemporary uh, folk here in the Ozarks. And this, this is actually a wall paper or wall covering. Um, I, I like it. It's definitely newer. Okay, just a shower. Oop, insert there. Someone tall like my husband would actually be able to stand in it. Okay. All right, we've got the same newer carpet. Um, my phone's kind of cast in a green light on it, but it's like a steel, a steel gray. It's nice looking. Okay, what is this? Does this turn on? Oh, okay, there's a blue light. Cove lighting there on top of that crown molding. And this is actually the vinyl wall covering. Again, this is something I would have probably specified for a place in Chicago. Um, 
that's on the door. Oh. Okay, I don't know. It looks like some sort of a shut off. Maybe that's the water shut off. Okay, so I'm gonna go outside now, to the back. The door sticks a little bit. I mean, this is where I would hang out. This is, this is the reason to buy the house right here. As you know, Vicki, walk to your slip or dock is not the easiest to come by. Okay, we got a little bit of TLC needed on these steps, but it looks like it's just around the edges. That's the neighbor, but the home is angled away from this property. So definitely feel private. I'm going to go ahead and walk. And I've been on this dock before. Like I said, I listed a property in this neighborhood and they had a slip in here and I know it has a swim platform okay so one house two house So there's the road coming down. Looks like they've put new gravel recently. This road, it's been a few years, a couple years since I drove down it. But it was a lot worse when I did. So obviously, yeah, it's a lot better than when I drove down here before. So that's good. Hello, TRL. Okay, so again, well, does my phone show? Hi, I'm a real estate agent. I'm just doing a video walkthrough. Thank you. I don't what? Tim. Tim? Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> but I am showing his property. Or video walkthrough, anyway. Super smooth. I didn't look before I came down here on which one was theirs. Oh, I'm sorry. 
So I'll just show you all of them. Swim dock. Fun, fun, fun. There's a ladder there. Okay guys, let me know if you want to see this when you come down.